Oh yes, finally back outside. I have been down for the count with back problems for like two weeks. I feel like I've been missing out on the whole Halloween season. And that's why I am stoked to be back once again at the LA County Fairgrounds here in Pomona for some Halloween action. It's our very first time at LA's Pumpkin Night. Dude, sweet. Apparently Pumpkin Night started at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds a couple of years ago, but now runs in five cities across the country, including this one right here here in Pomona. All right, look at this. Getting serious Halloween Town vibes already. Wow, check out all the different carved pumpkins already. Supposedly there are more than 3,000 at this event, and I can't wait to check them all out. So far I see a couple of little craft booths, lots of different foods and booths, and even funnel cakes, which makes sense. I mean, we are at a fairgrounds after all. But as tempting as the ice cream and hot dog on a stick look, what we're here for first and foremost are the pumpkin lands. This where those 3,000 carved pumpkins come into play. And I can't wait to check it out, dude. Look at this alley. Look at how many pumpkins there are. And each one is a different design. There must be hundreds of them. Okay, this is an impressive sight. Lots of cool generic Halloween ones. I'm already getting a lot of ideas for my pumpkin this year. Oh my gosh, check it out. It's a dire wolf pumpkin. And look, Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, Allie, this was a good idea. Wow. Now, obviously, these are artificial pumpkins. I mean, after all, they do have to hang out here for a month. But that does not change how awesome this is in the slightest. Whoa, I see a Lakers one. Another Mickey Mouse one. They've got happy pumpkins. Confused pumpkins. Inebriated pumpkins. There's a little bit of everything. Winky ones. Ghoulish ones. Shy ones. Cranky ones. Angry ones. Even Mr. Meeseeks? This is unbelievable. See, some people knock the artificial pumpkins, but I think this is the way to go. I mean, at least if you've got the space, because then you can keep them from year to year. And then every Halloween, it would be like seeing old friends again. Oh, look at this. A Hollywood pumpkin. Perfect. Dude, the effect of this is awesome, and we're just getting started. That would be plenty for your Instagram. But apparently, there's a whole lot more ahead. Okay, here we go. We're heading into the pumpkin lands themselves. Oh, dude. Let me tell you what. After spending two weeks looking at the ceiling with a bad back, it is nice to be out participating in Halloween again. Whoa, dude. Look at the size of this thing. Carnivorous pumpkin plants. That that is a great idea. Never seen a jack-o'-lantern like that before. This whole thing is so creative. Look at that. A pumpkin caterpillar. Look at the size of that insect right there. Look how many pumpkin segments it took to make this thing. Dude, that thing is more than one alley tall. Now, I missed the LA Fair that they recently had out here. And to be completely honest with you, I think I've only ever even been to the LA Fair like two or three times in my entire life. So I'm not completely familiar with the area we're in right now. But I'm going to make the crazy assumption that there aren't normally so many pumpkins out here. Ooh, what do we have here? Looks like a fun pick opportunity. Uh, I better get the phone ready. It's fun pick time. Man, from what I understood of this, it was just like a cute little photo op thing. I didn't think it would be so big, but apparently it's a half mile walking trail full of these crazy huge photo ops. Dude, check out that pumpkin bat. That is awesome. What's really awesome though is it's not just these giant set pieces. Everywhere you look, there are crazily carved, lit up jack-o'-lanterns. I mean, seriously, they're along every part of every path. I guess this is what Starbucks does with the pumpkins after they get the spice out. Wow, check this out. This is the great Pumpkin Hall, which feels awfully Harry Potterish, if you ask me. I see owls and wizard hats. There's a Hogwarts pumpkin up there. Ooh, a spooky raven. And good thing I have Allie here, or I never would have noticed the sneaky hidden Stranger Things pumpkin. Wait a minute, I don't remember Olaf being in Harry Potter. Dude, if you think the Great Pumpkin Hall is impressive, wait till you see what's at the end. As cool as it is to see carved owls, seeing a live one is even better. Oh my gosh, did you see? that alley? Apparently they keep a live owl perched over here after the Great Hall. But from what somebody said, he was getting cranky, so he's uh, gone back to his dressing room. I'm glad we got to see him though, that was cool. Alright, well I guess we've seen enough of this area. Time to move on to the next land. Ooh, I spy some Chinese lamp looking jack-o'-lanterns. Which I surmise means that we are entering the Forbidden Pumpkin City. Ooh, look, I just noticed this. There are little scavenger hunts in each section. Look out for that turtle owl. Oh my god. Gosh, this is gorgeous. What a cool idea. But if you thought Chinese lamp jack-o'-lanterns were impressive, check 
this out. Look at the size of this thing. It's a massive Chinese dragon made entirely out of pumpkins. Dude, this is crazy. Whoever thought of that is a genius. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Allie, look behind you. It's the turtle. And it's massive. And dude, check it out. The little stem of the pumpkin is the tail. Dude, even the little ones are impressive. Whoever the designers are, both of the jack-o'-lanterns and these giant sets in general, these are some seriously talented people. All right, the Pumpkin Forbidden City was amazing, but it's time to move along, because there are even more lands to see. Ooh, check out the spooky light post. Again, I'm not sure how much of this stuff is here normally, but I am having a blast checking it all out. Ooh, looks like they're showing Nightmare Before Christmas down there. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, it's a photo op with jack-o'-lanterns carved like the famous Universal Classic Monsters. Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, and the bride. The creature from the Black Lagoon, the Wolfman, the mummy. Okay, that is awesome. After all, it wouldn't be Halloween without the classics. Oh my gosh, and look at this next door. Check out these guys live carving jack-o'-lanterns, and not just any old pumpkins, real live pumpkins, and look at the detail on these things. Holy cow, that is some crazy craftsmanship. That takes some serious skill and concentration. Two things I do not have a lot of. So I've got a lot of respect for those fellas. Alright, I am seeing quite a number of snack booths and porta potties Ooh, donuts. But as great as these things smell, well, except for the porta potties of course, I'm mainly interested in seeing the next pumpkin land. And this time, the theme is nautical nonsense in the pumpkin pirate cove and the pumpkin reef. Yeah! It be the spirit of adventure! Look at the size of that ship! The cannons are shooting fog. There are lights and sails and fun pick opportunities. Oh, they even have swords for you to take your fun pick with cheese. Oh my gosh, SpongeBob would love this. I mean, Squidward would hate it. But well, let's face it, what doesn't Squidward hate? Oh my gosh, look, it continues. This is amazing. Look at these pumpkin pirate skeletons. Those are awesome. Ooh, a pumpkin pirate wench. Oh, awesome. Dude, this is so freaking cool looking. Hello there. Not only the carved pumpkin featuring treasure maps and krakens and all kinds of other pirate paraphernalia, but there's preposterous pumpkin pirates everywhere you look. I love these things. Ooh, what's this over here? The Great Pumpkin Dig. Ooh, apparently in this area they have buried some coins where just the kids can dig in the sand and look for buried treasure. I'm a kid at heart. Sadly, I don't think I qualify. Hey, but you're really short. People always think you're a kid. Oh, well, I guess we don't need the treasure. That is a super cool idea, though. And of course, once again, it's got its pumpkin skeleton hybrid characters. Not to mention all the pumpkin palms. Those coins, by the way, are these little chips. These little casino looking chips that look like pumpkins, of course. But there's another treasure back this way that's even more impressive. Oh my gosh, I feel like before this night is over, I'm gonna have to say the word pumpkin 15,472 times. It's gonna be like a drinking game. Alright, looks like next up, we get to pass through the pumpkin reef. Or as I like to think of it, jellyfish fields. Jellyfishing, jellyfishing, jellyfishing. Wow, I didn't know pumpkins could grow underwater. That's good, that means even Patrick can go to the pumpkin patch. Possibly. Probably. Okay, we don't don't have a lot of time left because this thing closes at about 10 30 and this was sort of a last minute decision so i want to try to go quickly but i also don't want to miss anything because everything out here is so awesome looking what are all these people doing whoa a pump the puss a what a pump the puss it's a giant pumpkin octopus wow look at the size of it oh it sounds so cute when you say shy but you're right look at the size of that kraken it's huge or is it huge i always say huge but it might be huge Wow, that thing almost got me. It's sticky tentacles got this close. Okay, moving on. I think we're finally switching themes. Oh, yep, we've entered our next land. The Monster Mash. And this one is an epic pumpkin-themed playground. Complete with games of cornhole and spooky monster pumpkin-themed teeter-totters. I particularly like that Frankenstein's monster one. Hey, Allie, hey, 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 hey. Hey. All right, what have we here? Oh my gosh, this is genius. Look at this. It's pumpkin bowling with giant candy corn pins. Oh, yes, I like that kid's style. Dude, he pulled an alley right there. He just went up and pissed it again. Whoa, what the heck is this? Some kind of weird ropey bola game here? I've never seen that one before either. And oh boy, up on the hill, the most intense challenge of them all. 
jump ropes, and a hula hoop. Neither of which am I any good at at all whatsoever. Someday I'll let you guys see me attempt to jump rope. I'm told it is one of the saddest and funniest things in the world. I have no talent. All right, looks like we've got another land here, Mara Via Lane. Sub theme, Spirit of Family. Because this area is all Dia de los Muertos theme. Wow, dude, this is cool. This whole garden area has got all these giant LA themed props. So I love that they've worked this section around the giant San Gabriel mission that I assume is always there. Oh wow, they've got colorful Calavera flag style pumpkins hanging up here. And a friend of photo op with little sugar skull pumpkins on the hay bales back there. How Coco of them. And off to the side there's even a little pumpkin mariachi band. Dude, that is awesome. Her little arms and hands and legs are the vines. Man, this whole place this whole experience is amazing. The only thing that's kind of weird is the name. Pumpkin Nights is just not epic enough for this. I mean, isn't every night in October a pumpkin night? This should be called Pumpkin Lands or Pumpkin Worlds. Or, oh, oh, I got it. Ultra Pumpkin Mind Explosion Extraordinaire.com. Yeah, that's it. That's got a nice ring to it. Ugh, what is up with all of these cobwebs? Oh, no. I've got a bad feeling about this next photo op. I can see the tent is covered with webs as well. And there's some suspiciously spider-like paraphernalia on the side of this walkway. Oh no, is that what I think it is? <laughs> it is. It's a gargantuan pumpkin spider. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I love this or I'm terrified of it. But I know what we have to do. Burn. Ooh, that was still scary somehow. I don't even care. I don't like spiders. I don't like real spiders. I don't like rubber spiders. I don't even like pumpkin spiders. I appreciate that spiders are necessary in the world. And they have just as much right to exist as I do. I just wish we could coexist a little more separately. Well, as long as they stay out of my bathtub. Okay. Well, I believe we have now seen all of the pumpkin lands except one. The Enchanted Pumpkin Forest. It might be the smallest section of all. But it it also might be my favorite section of all. Because this little pumpkin land is inhabited by pumpkin gnomes. Yes, I love gnomes. Look, they got one cooking marshmallows, one looking like Adam the Woo, a bashful one, one pushing a wheelbarrow, and they even have little pumpkin homes. Pumpkin homes for the pumpkin gnomes. Oh, it's beautiful. Dude, that is so awesome. I hope if I ever have a home of my own, I remember this because that would look sick in somebody's front yard. Oh my gosh. Allie, you look like you could just crawl inside of one of those. The princess among the pumpkin gnomes. How freaking awesome is that? All right, well, that just about does it. Just one more thing to see as we exit. The enchanted pumpkin forest wishing well. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. This might be good enough to make a wish inside of, which we'll do right now with this quarter. Even though I think technically it was for those pirate tokens, you know, the little pumpkin casino chips. Oops. But I wouldn't want to drink out of this well. Looks like they got some fumes going on. Whoa. Stanky water. All right, well, that does it for the pumpkin lands. This was actually freaking rad. I mean, for 20 bucks, seeing all this crazy stuff? Come on, that's the nice price. Whoa, wow. Behind these screens in here are some crazy pumpkin carving workshop areas. This is crazy. They should do something like this for Christmas. Actually, for all I know, maybe they do. Oh, hey! Get it? Hey? Hey, Allie. Hey, Allie. Hey, Allie. <laughs> That's awesome, man. The fun picks don't end even when the pumpkin lands do. Of course, there was always plenty of other stuff like jumpy houses and jumpy castles, inflatable dragons, and even a show where someone twirls and breathes fire on this stage here, which unfortunately we missed while we were in the pumpkin land. But even though I didn't see the show, I gotta say it's awesome anyway because you can't go wrong with fire. There were also, like I said, plenty of little crafty style booths featuring cool artwork and custom some plushies, and of course there's the official Pumpkin Night store with all kinds of sick merch goodies. Yes, sir. Kind of the perfect date night place. Gentlemen, or ladies, watch your wallets, because they've got some great stuff out here. It's going to be kind of hard to escape without getting somebody a present. And it looks like tonight that's Allie. Alright, show us what you got. Of course, the coffin-shaped Skellington-style backpack. I love you. 
I know. All right, gang, we've checked out the incredible merch. We have seen all the mind-blowing pumpkin lands. And since this place is now starting to close up, I feel like it's safe to say we've done our duty. My back is feeling a lot better, so hopefully this means I'm back in action, back in commission, back on the Halloween mission. But for now, it's time to go home, sleep well. Things more suspicious than frogs, breath. Oh, for anyone who is wondering, yes, I'm still in pain, back pain. Not too much pain. I was able to get out here. It's the C7, C6, right in there. I got the two herniatedness, slippy discs. They're almost back. I almost have full range of motion in the arm. I could just hold the camera about here. I can't get it any high. I can't get my arm any higher on this this arm, the camera arm little behind the scenes thing for you. I am holding the camera. Without, uh, not pain, but weakness, where I hand, my hand goes uh, no strengthy. I don't know how to explain it unless you've ever had a really bad pinched nerve from the spine before. You can lose power in your body parts. It's a fun fact for you. So I'm almost better. After literally three weeks of pain, I'm almost better. Ali has watched me go from literally crying, literally. And I've broken my legs a couple times and never cried. And I've broken my feet a couple times, never cried. Broken both of my hands. That one I always cry, but I didn't. Car accident, never cried. This made me cry. You saw. You witnessed the tears. He'll never respect me again. Anyway, so for all of you who have asked, I am doing much better now. This was a nice, simple event. Not a lot of frightens. No, uh, what's it called? No jump scares, which is good because that would hurt me for sure. Thank you all for being here. What are you laughing at? Ah! 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 Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> it went in my mouth! Oh, that hurt! That hurt! Oh, ow. okay. I'm going back home to lay down. Go home and sleep well. I'm a pumpkin spider, short and stout. Here are my fangs right under my snout. I will sneak into your bathroom while you're taking a bath. Snipping down and stinging your and crawling inside of your ears to lay my creepy spider pumpkin eggs. Creepy spider pumpkin eggs. Oh, don't try to look sad, Mr. Pumpkin Spider. We know you're evil. Evil.